Hello, this video is about your LFMTE settings. If you click on the settings tab, first you'll put in your site name and site description. The meta description and meta keywords are for SEO purposes. So you can leave this as it is, or you can add more, whatever you think is best. The next is for your admin name. And this will show up on your emails. Your admin email. And I'm going to use the same at the list from address. And if you have the Genius mod, you'll need to fill out the bounce notification address. You can make a separate email, like that says bounces or something, for that if you'd like. For the traffic exchange configuration, rotation type, you can either choose per member or per site. What this means is the script will decide how to allocate credits based on this setting. So if you have it set it per member, well then it will distribute the same amount for each member and then distribute that across all of the member sites. If you have it per site, well then the script will allocate all the credits for each website that's in the traffic exchange. You can allow duplicate sites or not. Enable your frame break blocker. Did I say that right? Frame break blocker. Which will, when a member comes across a site that breaks frames, it will show a special page and send the member to the report a site page. Um, Use banner or text impressions. If you don't want to use banners or texts, you can uncheck that. The default URL, banner, and text ad, these three items are what will show up if your site runs out of anything. Like if it runs out of sites in rotation, it will only show one site and you can tell the script which site to show here. Same goes with banners and text ads. You can keep surf logs for as many days as you'd like. If you have members that haven't verified their account, you can remind them in a certain number of days or delete them in a certain number of days. You can also choose to delete suspended members after a certain number of days. And if you have suspended members that are paid, you can check this box to exclude those. The next section is the member menu configuration, which is this menu here. You can decide which of these items you want in your menu. For instance, if you decide not to use a downline builder, you can uncheck that. Or if you don't have any downloads, you can uncheck that. Next is member and affiliate configuration. Your site URL goes here. Using theme on the sales page in your in your templates, you're able to make your sales page, and that setting will use the theme that you already have, or you can set another theme in your sales page. This is if you want to show your referral email to people that get referrals. Um, if you require email verification, you'll want to check this, especially on a traffic exchange. If someone changes their email, you can require them to re-verify. You can check this to send downline notifications if you want referrals to get their downline notifications. They can set it to no in their own profile if they'd like. 
first cookie gets a sale. This isn't something that's used very much now, but say if I was promoting something and you landed on my page, then you get an email from Bob and Bob is promoting the same thing, the cookie will still give me the sale because you landed on my page first. So I usually leave that unchecked. Provide banner URLs. This is for the affiliate area where you usually have banners here. It will show the URLs to the banners instead of just the images. Member levels flow through. This is so you can have information for the free members and also information for the upgraded members, but you don't have to duplicate yourself for the upgraded members. So the upgraded members will see their information and everything for the free members. Then the minimum commission payment, you can set this to whatever you want. Most people have it at $10 or $15. If you're split testing a sales page, you have two different sales pages that you want to test, you can set that here. Your file library, this is if you have any downloads that you want protected, like say for upgraded members, you can check this. This will be your file library folder. This entire section is if you want a forum, and you'll only need to add the path where your PHBB is installed, this will be automatically filled out for you. And you must create a group for your members and then select the group here. If you're using an autoresponder, you can configure that here. Um, we suggest you use the Genix mod because it's completely controlled by you. The miscellaneous settings you won't have to change. And then when we finish, we click Update General Settings. Because this form is so long, sometimes it's, it's easy to forget to click the button at the very, 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 very bottom. But anytime you change anything here, you'll need to click that button. So please let us know if you have any questions or if something on this video wasn't clear, and we'll be happy to help you with it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.